Hello, Darlene Johnson Callaway here with another digital tutorial for you. This week we are going to learn how to make a quick page, quick layout, quick. And this is kind of a digital tutorial for people that might be new to scrapbooking. And the reason I'm doing that is because I am a coach for the Pro Scrapbookers League. And we have a lot of beginning uh, digital scrapbookers there. And the Pro Scrapbookers League is just kind of like a fun pay place to help motivate you to get your layouts done. It's put on by the Club Scrap, and you can find it at the clubscrapcommunity.com. And there's a news area that has information about the Pro Scrapbookers League. And I really encourage encourage you to join. It's a wonderful chat group. Um, lots of people there to help you answer any of your questions you have about digital scrapbooking. I'm one of the coaches so you can ask me questions and I uh, would be happy to help you. And the greatest thing is, is if you participate and create layouts, you can get fantastic prizes, wonderful digital prizes that nobody else gets except for people that participate in the league. So I encourage you to join up with us. So um, today we're going to be working with the uh, quick page layout and you can actually get a free, yes I said free, uh, quick page layout as part of the digital kit from Club Scrap Digital. And you can find that at clubscrapcommunity.com slash shop slash free uh, digi demo. And it's a fantastic kit. I really encourage you to download it because it is beautiful and it's free. So for all of my pro scrapbookers out there, I just want to give a little review and show you how easy it is, even if you're a brand new beginner, to put together a page really quick. And the secret is to using quick pages. So here we are in Elements and we're going to go ahead and start right from the beginning. And this is how you can open up a file. Um, I've opened up a, a couple of pictures here and what we're going to open now is we're going to open up um, some of our um, our demo uh, that we just downloaded and so what you'll do is you'll scroll through and if you don't see your icons here you will want to change your preview because a lot of times it might be on detail and you can't tell what you see but if you click on this downward facing arrow you can click and have it on large icons and then it's a little bit easier to see what you have and what we want to do here is we want to use this CS 2009 demo which is the quick layout and we're just going to cl double click on that to open it up and here is a fantastic um, beautifully designed by the wonderful designers at Club Scrap absolutely fantastic layout and this is how easy it is to put together a beautiful layout we're going to turn our move tool on and this is our move tool up in this corner here and what we're going to do is we're going to go down to our um, bin down here and we're going to open up our first photo and it's going to be this wonderful picture of my daughter kissing my husband is that so adorable and all we're going to do is you have two choices you can click over here and simply drag it into your layout and then here's the here is the photo and what I have turned on here is I have the auto select layer turned on and I have the show bounding box turned on and then I have the show highlight on rollover turned on but that one doesn't really matter so much but the show bounding box and auto select layer make it really easy to click between your different layers so if I click here you can see now the layer 0 is the active layer but if I click here on the photograph now it becomes the active layer so now that I have the show bounding box turned on in order to resize this I just have to go up to a corner here and I can just drag down and resize it until it kind of looks like it's gonna fit into that um, opening that's there and if I wanted to I could get on a corner until I had double headed arrows and I could rotate it until it rotated the way I liked it. Maybe I think I kind of like it rotated over like this. Once you have it positioned where you think you like it, you just go ahead and click the checkbox or you can hit enter also. Now this um, particular photo is on top of our layer and if you look over here, here's the layer and the photos on top. It's just like regular scrapbooking. Whatever is on top is going to show and what's below is won't show. So we're going to click and drag this down to the bottom and look now our photograph is 
positioned just perfectly in that little um, area there. Now if you um, have trouble clicking and dragging, let's just go ahead and uh, control Z. You can also, with the photograph layer active, we can also go layer and then we can say arrange and we can say send it to the back and that's another way to move your photograph behind that photograph so there's more than one way to uh, move those photographs around now let's go ahead and add a second photograph now when you click and drag photographs into your um, layouts whatever layer you're on the item that you drag in will show up the layer above that and I'll show you what I mean when we click and make this um, excuse me when we double click and make this particular photograph our active layer and we click and drag it in because we were on this layer layer one it shows up right above it as layer two now to make it easy for you to resize it, it might be easier if you click and drag it above because then you can see your document better and you can make the changes that you need to a little bit easier. So now we will click and drag and simply resize our photograph until it gets about where we think it's going to work inside that little box there. And we'll just click check there. And now we can go ahead and drag it down below that layer and if we need to resize it a little bit more it's not a problem so and then for fine-tuning and just making um, small changes all you have to do is um, use your arrow keys to um, just move it just a tiny bit and we'll click our check key so now we have a beautiful layout um, let's go ahead and just add a few more items to it we're gonna click on layer 0 which is the background layer and we're gonna drag in a couple of uh, brads here so that we can add a couple of little extra embellishments to our item um, we've got one brad just a quick trick to make a second brad from that one is control J and we have a second copy so now we have two quick and easy little embellishments that have been added to our page and then um, after we add these we can go ahead and um, uh, add some text to our journal and to do that we just click on the T tool here we can select what color of we would like our text to be and let's just go ahead and, and select something that's kind of like in the the gray tones not not too dark but not too too light we'll make it a little bit darker there and select OK and uh, we'll zoom in here so we can see a little bit better and down here we can just uh, add our journaling we can select uh, whatever script we might like I uh, kinda like plain scripts a little bit more and we'll just go uh, Kalina oops, Kalina and Daddy and this was taken in the summer of 2006 and our, our writing is a little bit small so we'll just go ahead and increase the size a little bit and we can resize our box so it fits in there a little bit better and we've got that little dub headed arrow and we can just kind of drag around and, and put it wherever we would like it and if we zoom out you can see that is a layout completely done that layout is very quick and very easy and it's beautiful so uh, don't be afraid of the uh, quick pages and this was a is a ac absolutely fantastic way to get your feet wet and start digitally scrapbooking once you get used to your layers and moving stuff around this is the best way to do it